Alright guys, this is Pally Punter here, Holy Paladin on Bloodhoof Horde. Don't feel free to stop by and say hello. If you're gonna come troll me, please don't though. Uh, probably by saying that you're all gonna go do that. So, I'll love the trolling when it comes in. I'm here to show you some Holy Paladin tricks, some decent add-ons to run, and, um, you know, next, next week when the PvP it's full released, I'll show you uh, some real PvP action and things you can do to try to get a high rating, try to get a title. I uh, did not do well this season. Uh, my team decided to just stop playing about a month ago, so we ended it, I can't show you, like 1800. So I'm probably going to get a Gladiator or a, a uh, Challenger title, possibly Rival if I'm lucky enough. Um, guy from Dark Pack following me, that's cool. So yeah, show you some tricks. Um, first I'm going to show you my UI. Um, rating add-on. Uh, now, I don't know how to do this myself, but this is an, um, I downloaded an add-on called Elv UI, and what it does is that it's this really extensive UI that makes it so you can't see anything. Um, I turned it on to put my general log over here, my loot and trade over here. Just makes things easier. When you're in trade, it's not spamming, you know, your, your go, chat, go chat and everything else. That's Elv UI. Turn it on, get it to split to two, and then turn it off. That's what I did. Or if you like it, keep it on. You know, what am I going to say? Right here you can see X-Pearl, because I don't run the double-sided Gladius. Um, Gladius will be over here when I'm doing arenas. And here's my heal bot, which I move depending on how the fight's going. And my bartender, interrupt bar, rage bar, uh, and add-on, you know, health and mana. It's good because it tells me actually exactly how much mana I'm losing, so I can know when a good time into Divine Plea is and what I should be seeing after Divine Plea is over. Um... Obviously, Bartender makes my uh, everything clean, clean UI. I will be switching to a 1080p setup here uh, in about a month. Right now, I'm still running a 720p old monitor. Um, and, yeah, the big boss mods, Auctionator, Altaholic, a bunch of dumb stuff. But I want to um, focus on mainly Healbot. Healbot, uh, for me and, uh, you know, for a lot of healers, is really the bread and butter of how you heal. And especially as a Holy Paladin, with how many spells we have, um, and how we need to target multiple people all the time, uh, it's really, I think, a necessary Healbot or Grid. Um, I'm more familiar with Healbot. I've ran it since uh, Burning Crusade, and, you know, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't healing in uh, vanilla. I was Rep Paladin hitting two buttons and killing people. And, uh, but now I run Healbot, so I'm going to show you that. First things first, open up the general tab. Really nothing here. Um, turn it off. Um, it shows you how much, you know, add-ons your CPU is using. I don't care because I have a really powerful i7. Uh, spells. Um, this is where you set up how you um, wh how you use your abilities. Um, most of this is default, but I have a little of this um, set up myself. The alt click being cleansed, the control click being holy shot. That was me. I believe the divine light was being me, was me as well. And you notice it says left click. So this left click is flash of light. Control click is holy shock. Shift click is divine light. You can see my castle right there. Uh, alt click is cleanse. And shift alt click is bop. Take the pop off. And then control alt click is lay on hands, which you can't use in PvP. So. Now the right click is holy light. The shift click would be light of dawn. I don't use that in PvP, that's mainly for raiding. Uh, control click, beacon of light. Alt click, then we get some holy power. Some word of glory. And that's about it. I actually know uh, control alt click, right click. I get the hand of sacrifice, but I can't put it on me because. I am really not sure why. Uh, because I have four barons, so I can put it on myself. No, I just can't put it on myself. Okay, so that's Healbot. Um, also, you can go over to Skins uh, and change how it works. I like to sit at 125.35. It's a good size. Uh, anything uh, smaller, you can't really read. Anything bigger, just close your screen. Um, you don't want to have to mess with this too much. Um, it can be useful to see when a target's out of range or not. Um, the biggest thing is the Cure tab. Now what you can do with this um, really just makes uh, you a much better player. Um, you can separate how debuffs show up on, on the heal bot. Obviously I can't decurse, so I have curses be black. If target's black, I just need to heal it. Um, but I also have over here, I have curse.
curse is supposed to show up behind disease and poison. I will have to go in there and change that. Uh, that takes a lot longer than um, it frankly should. So yeah, trying to fix them up. Um, but disease and poison are uh, pink. Magic is green because it's much more important. Most uh, most CCs in this game are magic. Actually, I think all CCs in this game are magic. So your fears, your hammers, your repents, um, hunger and cold, everything's gonna be under magic. So that's green. So the target is green. I you know I I know that I need to to, to cleanse it. Um, but if a target has like a hammer on it and has an unstable affliction, I can't cleanse. And that's where the custom tree comes in. As you can see, I, is, I have unstable affliction set to the number two. And hold on one second, guys. There we go. Ah, vapor touch. Should be priority number one. Okay, so Vampiric Touch and Uncivil Collection have a higher priority than everything else. Uh, what that means to me is I cannot cleanse the target. If you cleanse the target with Vampiric Touch, you get feared for three seconds, four seconds, which can, you can, you know, lose your target, your healing. Or cleansing Uncivil Collection is a three second silence along with about a 20k hit, 20 to 40k, depending on your resilience and the spell power of the target with procs and everything. And both of those can just kill you. So I have those whites, so I make sure that I don't cleanse those. Um... And, you know, magic is obviously on top. And then disease and poison should be above. I think I can change that. But it is quite a pain, so... I'll have to figure out how to do that later and show you guys when I figure it out. Ah, got it. Okay, so magic will be five. Curse will be last, because I can't do anything about it. And then poison will be six. And disease will be seven. So now when I go over to my custom, curse is last, mad vampire touch, it's real affliction, and then these. So it, it shows up what shows up, because it only shows um, one debuff at a time. Um, it'll show a bunch of debuffs and buffs, but it'll only be one color. White means, you know, do not cleanse. Green means you need to. Pink means you need to. Not as high as priority. Pink is more damage. Green is CC. And then if it's black, I do nothing. So that's heal luck, guys. Um, and I uh, hope you like watching this. I'm going to put up some videos of Battlegrounds as well, so you can check those out. How they put them out.